So, since I released some guitar related videos, people wanted to know more about my guitars. So, sorry guys, no woodworking in this video, just me talking about my guitars. But I won't show you all my guitars because some of them are just some cheap guitars which I bought just to tinker with them and to have a little bit fun. So, let's start with this guitar. This is a Duesenberg Star Player and I bought it I believe in 2001 and I didn't plan to buy this guitar but as I picked it up in the music store I instantly fell in love with this guitar. It's just a great guitar, a wonderful instrument. I really like it. The next one is this Les Paul style guitar and this one I assembled from a guitar kit and uh, well I did some French polishing and I changed the original pickups with these great sounding Gretsch filter drones and they really make a difference. Because now this guitar has this, this great sparkling sound that you can only hear with, with filter drone pickups. So this is a really great guitar. So then we have this guitar. It started out as a sheep guitar I got from eBay for I believe about 60 euros and I bought it mainly because I like the color of it. And because this was a sheep guitar or is a sheep guitar, I had to do some modifications like leveling the frets and I changed the pickups. This one are from a German manufacturer named Leo Sounds and this one is from Gitter Fetish. And now this is a great sounding guitar. In fact, it sounds the way I want Italy to sound. So now let's talk about this guitar. This one also started out as a sheep guitar and in fact it had a very ugly looking German flag design so I wanted to repaint the guitar which didn't work and as I tried to strip off the old paint it also didn't work so I took a wheat burner and tried to burn off the old finish which obviously was a great idea. <laughs> But then again I like the look of this uh, burnt finish and I did some French polishing and now I really love how the guitar looks. And in one of my last videos I did this leather pickguard for this guitar and obviously I changed the pickups to some better ones. I believe these are both uh, from Guitar Fetish. And now this guitar, well it's a good guitar. It's not a great guitar but, but it's a good guitar. I really like it. So this is another one of my burnt guitars and uh, this one I burnt on purpose because I really like the looks of this kind of finish. I also did some French polishing. This is uh, Di Marzio, I believe a fast track, I'm not sure about this. And uh, well it's a great guitar. It has a very hot sound so it's, it's great for distorted uh, overdrive sounds. Okay, this blue one is another cheap Korean Telestar guitar and I modified it. It has new hardware, I leveled the frets, revived it, repainted it and I made the pickups myself. I really like this guitar. And the same goes for the sunburst next to it. Except uh, for the color, that's the original painting. Now let's jump to the past, or to be more specific, to my past. This guitar is a Marathon Replay series. I own this guitar for about 27 years now, if I'm not mistaken, and I bought it from a friend. It has split pickups and it's, well, it's just an awesome guitar. Now, this one is my first electric guitar. It's made by Phoenix and I have it for about 29 years. I really played this guitar a lot but I guess I will never play it on stage again. But even though I own guitars that sound and play much better, I probably keep and cherish this forever. 
also and here are two more guitars that are special to me because I built them myself. Um, I did not build the necks, I bought the necks because that was at the time out of my skill level. But I built the guitar bodies and um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say about this. This is a walnut and this is a basswood body with, uh, with a pop, poplar, uh, I believe, uh, veneer on top. This one is French polished and this one has a tongue oil finish. <laughs> and there is nothing more to say about these guitars. Except that this one is very heavy, I don't play it, I just like the way it looks. This one I actually like to play, it sounds great, but um, yeah, to tell the truth, they are not the best guitars I own, but they are special to me because I built them. Now these two guitars, well, they don't look like much, but they are workhorses. In the last years these became my main stage instruments. They play and sound wonderful, even though they may not look like much. The pickups on the telly are made by myself. And last but not least, here's one of my acoustic guitars. It's an Epiphone. And some of you might recognize the guitar stand I built for the Sterling Davis Palette Upcycle Challenge. I put a link down below. So there are a few more guitars, but I don't think they are worth mentioning in this video. So I hope you find this interesting and well, thank you for watching.